Hello, beta testers. <laughs> In part three of my playthrough, after friend Elf Deke gave me a bottomless bag to rescue beasts, I jumped on the broom to go look for the hippogriffs that I saw earlier. While flying, I asked the voices. Would I even be allowed to rescue a hippogriff? And the voices told me, no. But I tried it anyway, and I rescued him. What a feeling to have saved whom I wanted, to now feed and brush to my heart's content. The Hufflepuff Pokemon lover in me was happy to have him. But the Slytherin in me couldn't have felt better defying the limitations imposed on me by the voices. I named my white hippogriff Defiance. Defiance, like and subscribe. And if I'm being honest, I couldn't help but marvel. I've been gaming a long time. But it's been quite a while since I felt like this. I felt it recently. Rocksteady's Batman. Insomniac's Spider-Man. MiHoYo's Genshin Impact. Isekai. Immersion without mods. Made by people who know what that should feel like. What an expensive screensaver, I thought. Beautiful, though. Hufflepuff hearts must be bursting. This is what Pokemon could look like if Nintendo wasn't strangling it. If you know someone part of that comfy crowd, send word to those Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley kids, cause this, this is a product of love. These developers came out of nowhere and they've treated the material with respect and given it an incredible treatment. They've crafted something to be delicately handled, gently, carefully, with gloved hands and hushed voices. To put it in perspective, this took a Slytherin off the path, however momentary, of grinding immediately to level 40 like a true sweat and working to unlock the unforgivable curses. Yes, I admit that the hot 30 XP per rescue did, you know, <laughs> It had me salivating for a minute, but Avalanche knew that the resources they provide would make this something enough of us cared enough about to inevitably end up soaking in the scenery. This is art. A loving, detailed execution of a world that has me stopping every few steps to soak in the scenery. I used to play and compete in shooters religiously, and often I'm m more interested in the layout than I am seeing the forest for the trees. But if kid in a candy shop is what Avalanche was aiming for here, consider us all broke children in a chocolate factory. You must have known what a gift this would be to people who are even slightly invested in it. And this isn't just Harry Potter centric or gamers specifically, it's the immersion. This game, with respect, isn't an explosive departure or punch forward as far as what we've seen, but the love shoots through, punches you right in the face. You didn't need to wonder if Peter Jackson gave a shit about Lord of the Rings. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's what this is. No cringe, no woke bullshit. It's inclusive without being preachy. It is not awful. It's phenomenal. Whoever wants to come and try to take that away, I'm sorry for them. But you're going to get what's coming to you because this uh, is two animals, technically, yes. But what it would mean to some people who have gardens and pets and and care about if you can pet the dog. I'll look after you. It's enough. What are you gonna name it? Hmm? What are you gonna name it? Uh, materials. <laughs>
You like that? You like that name? Is that, girl? Is that Hufflepuff enough for you? I'm gonna name the I'm gonna name the cat materials or mats for short. Brush me four mats with the no, with the with the number four. Huh? It's a it's a boy kitty. Yeah, you want me to name a nigga? Uh, I'll be a veritable uh, I wonder if you can get a black HP Lovecraft on that ass. You know what I mean? Even if it never makes it back to him, I think every fan should say thank you to Avalanche and apologize on behalf of the embarrassing, childish portions of the trans community for the bullying, the spoiling, the spreading of misinformation, just telling absolute lies that'll actually tank the score of the game that could potentially result in less sales when these people absolutely deserve love, recognition, and success for what they have crafted. And I know they did it at great risk. It would have been safer to go woke. It would have been safer to make a live service, but they didn't do that. They started somewhere where everyone wants more. That's so important. I've barely brewed 10 potions in this game and it's because even before I got the broom, I was free to explore. So I'm nowhere. But this is something I want to take my time to get through. I think this is bigger than Elden Ring. Exclusively because it's so much more accessible. No, that doesn't mean dumbed down. It means that it caters to an audience better than that game did. For reasonable gamers, maybe every boss battle doesn't need to be a, you can get instantly killed and the boss is clipping through the walls and, and garbage like this. And again, I really liked the game. I bow to the excellence and masterful execution of Elden Ring. But 99% of the people who beat the game are not going to experience like 50% of it and they don't want to. Because Elden Ring spends a lot of time kicking you. So even though I think it'd be a perfect game, if co-op was easy and I could just pick somebody up and play through that whole thing because they halfway went with that but then they're immediately banished this game doesn't do that this game it welcomes you and if it ever stops to kick you you can rest assured that when you look up it'll have a hand extended to pick you back up it's all in good fun I, told you. I know it's a little gay to get emotional but uh the Slytherin in me would like to treat you to a demonstration. Take it! Take it! Stay down! Stay down! Look at you. If you were paying attention, what you're having is an emotional reaction. It's okay, gay baby. It hurt me just as much as it hurt you. Or maybe it was funny to me, you know? It's a series of ones and zeros arranged in sequences that, that are meant to amuse our monkey minds. And amuse us it do. Like a banana. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, if it makes you feel any better, I can say that I like save the game before I upset the sequence of zeros at once. <laughs> and it'll depend on what you do as it pertains to liking this video and commenting on whether I did it or not below. And maybe I'll consider revealing what I did. Like the video or the Nifflers next. Aren't you excited? This is just the beginning. Maybe Hogwarts Legacy 2 will give us big titties and facial hair. Jiggle physics. Can't be magic without jiggle physics. Look at Tsunade in, in, in Naruto. First thing she did was say, nah, nah these are too small. You see what I'm saying? Oh, wowzers. Kyle oh, likes I'll catch you in rings. Sonic wants rings. Just like have like Superman 64 footage in a little box and, and me going, yeah! In this